Hello friends, welcome to JavaScript video tutorials series. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss JavaScript events with return value. We understand when and how to use events with return value in JavaScript. Of course, we can send a value to JavaScript events guys. Let's have a demo and understand. I minimize it. Here I have default.html page. I right click on it, say open with the notepad. You can see that default.html page is open in the notepad. Its title is set to JavaScript events with return value. I minimize it. I right click on default.html page, say open with Google Chrome. You can see that default.html page is open in the Chrome. Title is set to JavaScript events with return value. I go back to the code. Here I am going to create one anchor tag. I say opening a, closing a. Inside that I put the text Google. And then I say here href hyperlink reference https colon double forward slash www.google.com I save this go to browser and reload you can see we got google text displayed it's a hyperlink if I click on the google text what happens browser takes us to google.com website right guys I click on this you can see that browser is taking us to google.com website now what I want when I click on the Google text, browser should display a confirmation box asking me, are you sure you want to visit google.com website? If I say yes, then only it should take me to google.com website. If I say no, it should not take me to google.com website. Instead of that, it should keep me in the same page guys. What I want, when I click on the Google hyperlink, browser should display a confirmation box asking are you sure you want to visit google.com website if i say okay then it should take me to google.com website otherwise no how do i do that i am going to say here on click on click event means when i click on this hyperlink i am going to call display confirm box function from javascript i am going to create that function i say here opening script tag closing script tag and then i say type is equal to text or javascript inside this i am going to create the function display confirm box i copy that and paste here opening floor bracket closing floor bracket in javascript we have a built-in function called as confirm this is going to display a confirmation box. Inside that, I am going to display the text. Are you sure? Are you sure you want to visit google.com website? Let's see what happens if I save this. I go to browser and reload. If I click on this Google text, it shows me, are you sure you want to visit google.com website? Okay, whether I click OK or cancel, it will take me to the google.com website. If I go back, I click here. If I say OK also, it will take me to google.com. If I click on this, if I say cancel also, it will take me to the google.com. I don't want that. If I click on the OK button, then it should take me to google.com. If I click on cancel, it should keep me in the same page, default.html page. For that, what I do here, I'm going to use the keyword return because confirm function is going to return true or false guys if i click on the ok button it returns true if i click on cancel button it returns false that true or false we are going to send to on click event here so i say here return i use the keyword return if on click receives true that means if i click on the ok button it receives true if on click receives true then browser takes me to google.com if i click on the cancel on click receives false if on click receives false then browser don't take me to google.com website guys so this is what we call as javascript events with return value very very useful let's save it go to browser and reload now if i click on this google text if I click on cancel, it, it, it is not going to take me to google.com website. I click here cancel. See, it's not taking me to 
google.com website but if i click on google and say okay it will take me to google.com website see i go back if i click on google text it is asking are you sure you want to visit google.com website if i say okay it takes me to google.com website if i go back and click on the google text it is asking are you sure you want to visit google.com website if i say cancel it will not take me to google.com website guys so that is how javascript events with return value work guys i hope you guys have clearly understood let's see one more example okay one more example of javascript events with return value most commonly we use javascript events with return value in form validation guys in form validation so what i do here i am going to create a form i say opening form tag and closing form tag and i say here action equal to processor dot html page so when i submit this form browser takes us to processor dot html page it sends all the data of the form to processor dot html page inside this i am going to say label opening label and closing label tag and then i say here user name colon if i save go to browser and refresh it displays username colon and then i am going to say here input type equal to text name i am going to give txt username id i am going to set txt user name and by default value empty i save it go to browser and reload we got a text box where user can enter the name next i am going to have a span tag i say here opening span tag closing span tag and here i am going to say id of spn error message so we use this span tag to display error message guys and then i use the br tag and then i say input type equal to submit i am creating a submit button i save it go to browser and reload so we got a submit button guys now when i click on the submit button it takes us to processor.html page and you see that it is displaying here the query string txt username equal to empty why because this is our txt username it is empty if i click on submit it is empty right so nothing is getting displayed if i go back and enter the name like say manju and click on submit it is going to say txt username equal to manju guys so we get the field name and its value guys okay let's create this page also processor.html page i am going to create i say notepad and inside this i am going to write the basic structure of uh, html document i paste here and delete this code from here so this is our processor 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 page i am going to save this file save as i save it at the desktop with the name processor processor .html. both sides I put double quotation sign save so that's our processor .html page guys that is nice now what I want okay what I want when I click on the submit button okay when I click on the submit button if this field is empty I want to display an error message I want to display an error message saying please enter your name and the form should not be submitted guys the form should not get submitted if i click on the submit it is getting submitted it is going to processor.html page with txt username empty i don't want that if there is a value then only the form should get submit okay if user enters his name or her name then only the form should get submit otherwise it should not get submit here comes the form validation guys so how do we do that let's see here i say on submit on submit is a javascript event when we click on the submit button on submit event is triggered here i am going to call validate function from javascript so let's create that function i say opening script tag closing script tag then i say type is equal to text or javascript let me create the function validate so validate function is called 
when we submit the form validate function is called guys now in the validate function i am going to get the value of this field so first i get the reference to this field how do i get i say here were txt username equal to document dot get element by id in double quotations i pass the id of the field txt username now txt username this variable refers to this input field guys because i am telling get the element whose id is set to txt username this element id is set to txt username so we get this element in this variable guys in the same way i am going to get this span tag also how do i get i say here var spn error message equal to document dot get element by id id i am going to pass here spn error message now we got the reference to this input field as well as the span tag here i am going to say if txt username dot value if this input field value is not equal to empty that means user has entered the name if user has entered the name we return true and that true or false we can receive here by saying return and else if it is empty okay if the field is empty then i say spn error message dot inner html inner html means content content of spn error message equal to equal to star please enter your name and then i say spn let me copy this spn error message dot style dot text color should be in red color it should display in red color and then i say here return false okay if txt username value is empty then it displays enter your name and in the red color and it returns false if on submit receives false then submission does not happen guys if it returns true that means if user enters the value it returns true if it re receives true then the form is submitted to processor.html page browser takes us to processor.html page guys let's see that i save here go to browser and reload if this is empty if user has not entered any data here if i click on the submit button see form is not getting submitted it is telling please enter your name why because this code is getting executed guys txt username dot value not equal to empty is false so please enter your name is getting displayed and it is returning false as on submit is getting false it is not going to processor dot html page the form is not getting submitted to processor dot html page whereas if i enter the data let's say if i enter my name manju and click on the submit button the form is going to get submit with the field name txt username value manju guys so this is how we are going to use events with return value events with return value i hope this code is clear to you right let's go back now what i do when i click on the submit button i want to display here a message okay i want to display a message in the alert box let's say saying welcome manju how do we do that i go back to processor.html page here i say opening script tag closing script tag and then i say type is equal to text or javascript in javascript we have url search params function guys url search params function here i say u r l s e a r c s search p a r a m s search params function to this we give window dot location dot s e a r c h search 
so it returns a search query that is it is going to have this query guys this query it is going to hold txt username equal to manju okay this information the query string it is going to return us this code is going to return us so i say here were url searcs search params params equal to url search params function i am calling window.location.search now url search params is going to contain the field name and the value we are going to display that detail here i say here alert in the alert box i say welcome colon it displays welcome colon plus url search search params params dot get we use the get function in double quotations i say txt user name that is the field name or it is a key here txt user name so this name i am giving here oh i missed here new url search params guys let me go back and click on the submit button see now we got here welcome colon manju welcome manju it is telling you see that i go back if i enter here for example ravi i click on submit it says welcome ravi if it is empty it displays please enter your name so that is how we validate the form guys if the form is valid then it is submitted otherwise it is not submitted so that is all the power of javascript events with return value that's it guys for this video tutorial i hope you guys have clearly understood i strongly suggest you people try it yourself one or two times you understand everything clearly if you like this video hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited for more benefits and be update do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial